Hey, this is Jerks. So today I'm going to do a tutorial on the basics of rushing. Now lots of people say that rushing is toxic or rushing is bad, but honestly rushing is the most important step of any match. And it doesn't matter if you're going to play against um, people in a match that's going to go on really long or people in a match that you're going to go and beat in five minutes, you know? Um, the point of the game is to win, okay? And so you want to win as fast as possible. There's no point giving your opponent an advantage, you know, letting them get ready, spending more time than you need to. And if you want to grind the ratings, then this is perfect for that. If you just want to, you know, win games, this is also still the first step that you need to do. So try to get into a pod. If you're just trying to grind ratings, try to get into a pod where, you know, lots of 1200s here. Join last second, especially if you're a high rating, just because if people see your rating, you're either going to get ulted on or all the people who are noobs are going to dip. Now, first thing you want to do, so make sure all your graphic settings right here are turned off, okay? Because that affects your load time, which ultimately affects how fast you can move. So first thing I'm going to do over here is I've got my spawn, and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to build the arsenal. Building the arsenal first and not the well pump. And that's for one main reason here, which is that the arsenal um, is going to take time to produce things, right? So while it's producing things, I want to be building. But if I, so I, so I may as well use that time is I guess what I'm saying. So I'm going to go over here. So I'm going to build the SMG or I'm going to produce the SMG. And while the SMG is producing, I'm building stuff, right? So the SMG is right there. Next, I'm going to go grab a rocket launcher. You can do a uh, rocket launcher. You can do a satchel charge. Some people choose satchel charge. Satchel charge is uh, sometimes, well, it's more effective, right? But it also takes 50. And if your opponents have guns and I see, oh, never mind. They're actually just noobs in here. So maybe I will grab a uh, satchel charge. Oops. So grab the satchel charge, I'm going to destroy that, and then while the satchel charge is being produced, I'm going to go here and make a small tank. Make the small tank because if you die and you need to respawn, you're going to end up using the iridium that's in your uh, spawn point when you respawn. And so then you're not going to have um, iridium to produce more guns. So you want to make sure also, just in case, and again, the plan is not to die here, but be prepared for that because you never know. So we've got that there, um, guns produced, got a satchel charge, and you know what, I think I actually want this AR. Never, never, in your, in your rushing, you don't want to grab a scanner. Scanners are pointless because everybody spawns in the same spot, right? If you are in the um, spawn point in the lobby, you can tell where people are going to spawn, right? If there is, you're in, I'm in yellow right here. And so in the lobby, you can see the people beside you, and the people beside me in the lobby were green, and green is going to be right over here and then orange, right? And it just kind of goes in the shades the way the rainbow does, right? So I'm gonna move over to orange and I really wasn't thinking because I was distracted and talking, but probably should have rushed green first just because they have more people. Ultimately, this shouldn't affect the outcome of the game that much, but it might slow things down. So we're gonna get over here. Now, if they disconnect their spawn, there's no point blowing it up and you may as well save time. It doesn't look like he's disconnected his spawn yet, but we're just going to kill him, put a satchel charger on there, and blow it up. And then we're going to sit here, see if he responds. Does he respawn? Okay, it's gone. And moving on to the next one. So this is a full server here. So there are people at every single island. So, or no, there's not. There's not at purple, but pretty much every single island. So I can just go in a circle, basically. Normally, you do want to target the people who are the biggest threats to you, right? So if you have people, you know, you're, you're in a game, you're rushing, and there's, you know, a couple of 1800s you're going to go after those first. You're not going to go after the 1200s, okay? And every game, you know, regardless of your strategy, again, should be starting out with a rush. So if you're going against, you know, some, some high-level players, it's absolutely stupid to just go straight to basing, right? Especially, you know, first you want to try to rush them. If you can take them out before they can get a base established, you're golden because they're going to be a pain to actually try to deal with. Okay, I want to get over here before they connect. They don't have well pumps. They just started building. So these are some real noobs right here, which is ideal for rushing, right? Now, don't let them escape because if they go and hide, it's just kind of a pain in the ass and it slows you down from your rush. So this isn't a spawn point that's connected to anything else, right? So now he's respawned. I don't need to bother blowing it up. They're not going to be able to get there again. You can steal um, Iridium from blueprints that aren't filled, by the way. And you can also steal it from your opponent's backpacks. If you're on an island and all the crystals are used up and you just showed up with an SMG and a satchel and you want to keep your attack going, don't you know, feel the need to go run over there, right? They've just, if they've just got pistols, they don't have real weapons, you can get close to them and you can use um, your portafabricator and just ho hover over top of their backpacks or their jetpacks, sorry, and you can steal iridium from them by pressing E. So that's a pretty fun tip that I uh, 
just found out actually. So no purple, so purple would have been right here, right? So that's because they always spawn in the same spot. So we just hit red, red, then purple, then blue. So blue's over here. Blue, don't see an arsenal over there, which is perfect. Again, this rocket over here really would only be needed if they had turrets or if they had an arsenal, right? And then I'm just gonna go keep my distance at a safe place away from them, use some crystals and just destroy their base. And again, if you're on a team, this is even better, especially if you're on a team against, you know, a, an opponent who actually poses a threat to you, you want to split your team up. And so you want to say half your team is going to go and rush and the other half your team is going to go base. And so that serves as a backup. But also if your rush is successful, you don't need that base, right? But if your rush isn't successful, you have that base to fall back on. And in the meantime, you were putting pressure on your opponent and they didn't have time to base. So you have an advantage over top of them there, even if they managed to successfully hold off your rush. Okay, shit. Um, so that's not good. Um, so pistols can do significant damage if they manage to get headshots. You don't want to let them, if they've got good aim, you're, you know, there we go. All right, we'll just wait for these guys to respawn. Team, that's funny. Um, there we go, hi there. Okay, and his spawn is not connected. So, and make sure they don't have a disc cap on there. Some people are smart enough to put a distributor cap on there and they've upgraded their spawn. But these guys are doing ground condensers, so probably not. Last team over there, green, and let's just move over there. All right, this, this is, oh, I see an arsenal. Okay, so this should be interesting. We get a little bit of a example of how to deal with this then. Yeah, they're putting up walls. It looks like they're expecting it. Walls are just not a smart move. So again, when you're playing this game, you should be getting off your spawn island immediately, right? Like, so this, I've got a rocket here and I'm gonna get above them. Always think three dimensionally in this game. You wanna use, you know, every, every avenue of attack you can, right? Why would, why would you stay on the same plane as your enemy if you can get above them, right? So create advantages where you can. And this is one example of how I'm gonna create an advantage, I'm gonna get above my enemy. Again, this is really not an enemy I need to be doing this with, but just for the purposes of example. So that was a miss right there. We've got the assault rifle. Assault rifle is nice because it does high damage. Um, there we go, just took him out right there. Um, oh, we got one more over there. Uh, and I don't have enough radium for that. So I'm gonna go make sure my jetpack is full. Fill this up, and in the meantime, he's probably going to be respawned. Getting guns too, if he's smart, because it looks like he has the resources for it. Let's do one more over here, and then this is nice because as this is filling, I'm going to steal iridium from it, and then now I'm going to just murder him. And goodbye. Now, sometimes you know, if you're in there and you don't have uh, explosives, and you're just chilling out here, you can block off their arsenal right there and then they can't refuel with guns until they rebuild their ice arsenal especially if they don't have explosives they're not going to be able to deal with that okay we're going to satchel charge this he's got one teammate down oh shoot 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 okay so again i don't have iridium here but but i'm going to try to steal from his backpack if i can so stealing from his backpack just shutting the door because my family came home and um, again, so <laughs> keeping my distance because I don't want to get hit by that pistol. And I just need enough, just need enough to do, again, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, oh, come on. There we go. Satchel charge. Is he going to be smart enough to pistol that satchel charge? Nope, he is not. So that's perfect. So now, he's gonna probably place something there. There we go, and now I've got Iridium, which is perfect, now I can take him out. And he didn't connect it. And we've got an open pipe there, so we're gonna go and put a uh, refill station right here. And I can draw power from there. And he's got a teammate who is down here. It's time like this where I kind of wish I had a scanner with me just because I could see where exactly he is. But um, we, we can take care of that. So I'm gonna put a spawn point right here because, so normally if you're rushing around there and your opponents are building spawns and you're on a big game, you wanna be making more spawn points around you just because if you've only got one spawn point, all it takes is a smart enough opponent who goes and destroys your spawn while you're rushing and then you die from an enemy defense and you don't have spawn and you've just lost the game. Right, that's happened to me a couple of times, and I've done it to people a few times. 
But for right now, we're just going to get the arsenal right over here. We've basically just taken over the space. It's our base now. And we're going to get a scanner and figure out where he is. He's, I know he's down there, but I just want to be sure. Oh, he's already given up. So that's how you rush. I hope this was helpful, and I'll probably make some more videos like this.